on the shit like a horse I be ballin' on these niggas, got me feelin' like sports Dash got so much wood, I could build me Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Fat Dallas, aka Mr. Tutty Tutty Bringing you some fire Madden 18 tips If this is the first time you ever came to this channel Make sure you hit that thumbs up before you leave Subscribe and then hit the bell notification next to it A lot of people in the comment section Been requesting on ways to shut down the stretches And shut down the tosses Because everybody that played Madden 18 Know the run is real OP So I'm going to give y'all a few of my key tips You can come out in the Tampa You can come out in the cover 3 But the tip is Show blitz and get as many people in the box as possible. I like to bring my safeties down from the original play art about six yards. And then I will line them up either even with the left tackles or one or two steps outside of the left tackles. Because that changes the run fits and that changes who the linemen will uh, adjust to to try to block. Also, if they come out in these pitch type plays, know by looking at the replay right now. One of the people is pulling on the play. That is a key for you. So when they motion the guy over, they will usually motion a tight end or a wide receiver from left to right or from right to left. That lets you know that is a tail sign. So only thing that you would do is switch who you are using. Right now I'm using the linebacker on our right side. If he motion from the left to the right, I will use the linebacker on that left side and then run over there and it will be the same exact concept. So what you want to do is show blitz and then you can either crash toward the side where you think the run is going or you can crash out. You want to show blitz and you want to have your uh, safeties exactly like I'm showing you on this video. They're going to try to move out, but you want to put them as close to the hash marks from the tackles as possible. So you can see when they line up, they are on that line mark. You want to bring them about five to seven yards away from where the ball is placed. The ball is placed right there. You want to move your safeties about five to seven yards away. That gives you a cover four look. If you know how to read defenses pre-snap, you would know that cover four defense mean that the people are about seven to nine yards off. The cover two, they are about 12 or 15 yards with the cover six and the cover two. And the cover three is one high safety. But sometimes they can base a line, so on cover three, all the thing you have to do is watch the safeties as soon as you hike the ball, and one will come in toward the linebackers, and one would drop back to try to cover the middle of the field. So, a lot of people been struggling with the stretch. It's the same exact concept. Get them safeties in the box. Don't let them stay 12 to 15 yards away. They can't help with the run that way. Bring them safeties down in the box. Make your opponent know that running the ball is nothing that's going to happen. You are going to throw the ball into my 91 zone. Now, people been saying, what if they run up the middle? Well, if they run up the middle, you just going to clog the lane because the run fits are different. I'm going to show you. You take your user and go about two to three yards yards to the left and then two to three yards back I'm moving them right there now if they run up the middle the stretch is not working watch how you can shoot the gap and cause a fumble or just knock his legs from underneath him if y'all enjoy these tips let me know by hitting that thumbs up button leave down in the comment section comment of the day what else y'all need help on and I got y'all let's go disappointment but some of these team special teams coaches with approval by the head coach they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive almost what we call the green light red light there green light means go red light means stop looks like he had green on that play he missed on his first three passes was 0 for 3 now gets a connection maybe that'll get him going they'll go for it it's rogers And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former Bronco, Brian Dawkins. And look out, I think he's going to go. 